For some reason, this one's all rotted out. So I have a Acura ILX here. This one is getting a new rocker panel. For some reason, this one's all rotted out all throughout this area. And this car's only four or five years old, so I'm not sure why that is. It's actually a dealership warranty. I'm guessing maybe the dealership sold this one and then the customer complained about the rocker rusting out or something and they decided to warranty it for them, but I'm surprised it's that bad. on a car that's not very old. Maybe I'll run into some surprises under here. Maybe somebody worked on this before, but there's no signs on the outside that it's been worked on. It still has all the factory spot welds, so nobody's replaced this before. But this one's gonna get a new rocker panel. Unfortunately, this is how they sell the new rocker panel. It comes short, and then you have to buy a quarter panel if you want this last section, which is, right where a bunch of my rust is. So we had to get both panels, but they have a sectioning procedure to section this in right here, as well as this rocker panel I'll put in right here rather than putting it in at the A-post. Just keeps it smaller, easier, less to do, and they have procedures for that, so that's the way I'm gonna do it. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna start, I'm gonna sit this section of the rocker panel on here. Then I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna scribe both of these seams. And then I'll lift this off. And I'll trim these parts out the rest of the way and that'll give me a perfect seam at both of those joints.
for whatever reason on these particular cars, whenever you buy the quarter and the rocker panel, they always end up coming short. I didn't cut either of these seams at all. I just cleaned up down to bare metal for welding. And you can see how it has a gap there. It's a stamping issue or something from the factory. But what they have you do is make a backer plate to go in here. And that's how I'll end up welding up that seam. Not sure why they have that, but that's just the way they are. I've done quite a few of these. And they all come that way. So I went ahead and I fit these doors up. I want to make sure all my gaps going all the way around look good and everything looks nice and even. So I'm going to go ahead and lift the doors back off and I'll get this front rocker piece welded on first. Then I will get this corner piece welded on as well. I have to lift this back off to put some sealer behind it, but just about there. Thank <laughs> you. 
Now I just have one last thing before I send this one over to our paint department. I have to apply a chip guard across the bottom of this rocker panel. So I'm gonna scuff it up, then I'm gonna run a tape line across there and go ahead and spray my chip guard. Now this is 3M cavity wax. I'm gonna hose inside this rocker panel. This sprays in a 360 degree pattern. And this will coat all of the bare metal in there and prevent this thing from rusting out like it did before.